Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello beautiful people, welcome to Global Happiness Today. We're going to give you a quick update on what is happening in Ocean State. Honestly, uh, my Nigeria, my country, I held it, I held it. Uh, if you continue like this, I don't know how 2023 elections, presidential election will look like. But I can assure you, Nigeria should better put on their tight jeans. It's not going to be easy at all. We're going to give you an update on what is happening in Osho State. Then, uh, Shetima, Kashim Shetima, the same Shetima who is vying for the vice presidential post uh, in APC platform, uh, that's um, Tunumbu's running mate, the same Shetima, who looked like our amiable vice president and called him a borrow beat ice cream seller and a popcorn seller. And to think that our amiable vice president did not respond is a different matter entirely. But as we speak, he has decided to take it one on one with Peter Obi. It looks like uh, Shatima is in the habit of always looking for people's trouble. Or should I say, calling people out and calling them special names. All this we're going to give you uploads very quickly. But before we do that, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the right subscribe button beside it. You see the bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Let's start with what uh, Lady Koduma King's uh, wife said in her polling unit. She said that the the grade of vote buying now is, is a hybrid is upgraded it's not the regular type that if they if they have modified vote buying now the nigerians have better get ready although according to her uh it was relatively peaceful he said the security personnel were very professional in the uh, in the approaches you must commend them and of course the labor party aspirant is also screaming that they should look into this issue of vote buying if it continues like this the nigerian selection and democracy is finished then of course still on the same issue uh there have been a series of videos, APCO, PDP, their agents are just busy. They're just doing their thing. And they're just having fun. And that's why they're saying that there's no vote buying. We all know these things. We don't want to just mention names. To make it very interesting. The latest style of the hybrid type of vote buying now is, is thank you, thank you, Nongba. Just thank you, according to some sources. The one you just need to do is... If you want to collect the key, because the first the first pulling agent was crying foul that that what the number J more votes meaning they have eaten the money he has given them money but he's yet to see any votes you know but yet he has given this this vote the electorate money so the other units have served to become whiter so what do they do when you go to the polling unit you go with your phone you snap what you have voted for. If it is APCO, PDPO, APGAO, whatever it is you have voted for, snap it. When you snap it, you now go and show them. They will now give you your, your, your thank you. You smile to the banks. That is now the latest hybrid type. Dangerous type, I tell you. Which means, you see that you don't have longer, longer. If you don't have longer, longer, you do your vote and allow your conscience to judge you. Or you, because of that 10K, you collect 10K and vote the wrong person. And let us calculate the 10,000 now. 10,000, if you go by four years, it is six naira per day. Yes, for the next four years, they just pay you six naira in a day. You're not ashamed of yourself to be selling your life, selling your future, four years of your life of six naira. It's not to just go and be selling, selling cooks. You see more profit than selling yourself six naira per day. Let's go to on, into other news very quickly. The vice presidential candidate of All Progressive Congress APC, Kashim Shetima, has said that the presidential candidate of Labour Party, LP Peter Obi, can only become president in Igbo land, but not in Nigeria, because it's too big for him to handle, which has caused a lot of reactions and comments on social media. Shetima, who said this on Arise TV, noted that Peter Obi has no political structure to win 2023 elections and has no enough experience to lead this country. In his words, he said, and I quote, 
Peter can only become a president in Igbo land and not definitely Nigeria because of us big for him to Nigeria is too big for him to handle. He has no leadership experience like President Muhammad Buhari. Uh, okay. Before Nigeria started reacting, let me just say a little thing about Peter B. I'm not defending him. I'm trying to see. I don't know why the vice president allowed him, this guy, to call him Borukwit. Called him, is he Borukwit? He called him, I don't even know the name, how he pronounced the name, Borukwit. He called him Borukwit, he called him ice cream seller. He didn't stop there. He said he's a nice guy. He says popcorn. And our maybe vice president just didn't even, at least, do a disclaimer or something. Although he later apologized, but it's not good enough. Now, the Peter Obi is he that has no leadership skill. That was the two-time uh, governor of Anambra State. He did excellently well. See, when you want to shade someone, why not shade him properly? Don't don't make you look as if the reason why you are even talking is because of Peter Obi. Is is that what you are bringing to the table? You are bringing Peter Obi to the table. What is your campaign promise? You are busy looking at Peter Obi. Let me help a little. The little I know about Peter Obi. Peter Obi has gone through business schools. Please, with due respect, Shitima, which of the business school did you attend? Okay. Oh, I remember. He was one time a manager of Zenit. I think senior manager of Zenit in one of those uh, one of those states before he entered into politics. Peter Obi, I think he's the chairman. I correct me if I'm wrong. I think he's the chairman or former chairman or still the present chairman of Fidelity Bank. For you to rise to that position, it's not more and more in sachet. It's not beans. Nobody should belittle that position. That position is not it's not something you go on the street and pick it even in Bruno. You can't pick CEO. You can't pick a chairman of Fidelity Bank on the street of Bruno. Nigerian politics has become so corrupted that sometimes when you say your politician self, it doesn't it doesn't um it doesn't ring a bell. It, 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 it rings, it smells of corruption. So sometimes when you say you have been an experienced politician for 24 years, it, 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 an average Nigerian will just look at you, a corrupt politician for 24 years, because Nigeria is fantastically corrupt. Whether we want to tell us the truth or not, it's left to our conscience. Now, for the same picture we are talking about, have gone through series and series of business school. He has succeeded in several businesses. He has made promise. He has made you know, there's this, this beauty of a serial businessman who have attempted, he has learned to trust his instinct. He knows when to cut costs where necessary and he knows where to expand and push where possible. Now, this is somebody that Nigerians will say is very stingy. There have been so many um, stories about him as a dissident that he doesn't give shishi. Right now, Nigeria is looking for a, a, a man who is that prudent to the point that he will help us cut if you can cut all the costs self cut it you will cut all the wow we have in how many private jets do we have how many is being functional how many is being used you just there are some places we will call for leakages he should seal it we don't we're not looking for experienced politicians who have become that vast in corruption mm -mm, mm -mm. we don't want it again you can't be doing the same thing over the time and expect a different result. We have tried this so-called experienced politicians and they have proved us that they've proven to us that maybe they don't have anything different to offer. Why don't let's try a businessman who have who have succeeded severally in his businesses? Okay, but he has had a, a, a taste of politics in Nigeria as well. So when you say it's too big for him, fidelity have branches. All over Nigeria, is it too big for him to handle as well? And if you've ever worked in the bank, you understand that this is what we call all the checks and balances at every given table, which means for fraud to even fly, everybody somehow one way or the other must be involved to make that fraud to fly. So for someone who has been able to control such system that controls that kind of system, do you think if you put the same checks and balances that he did in Fidelity, don't you think it will work? It's just a case of looking at Nigeria as a micro this thing and expand it. The only thing is that the corrupt leaders will not like him. They won't like him at all because it's going to cut out 
everything possible. To say that Peter Obi does not have the world without to control a country said is not as experienced as and the president of Nigeria. Peter Obi, with all his education, is not experienced. With all the pedigree he's got, he's not experienced. Come on. Let's look for something else. Let's see that conversation wants to take. I think this is just a case of personal beef now. Let's play politics. Leave personal vendetta.